All right. The hour of 6.30 having arrived, I'd like to uh, call the regular meeting of the Columbus Planning Commission for Thursday, February 10th to order. Uh, Matt, will you please call the roll? Sure. Moda? Present. 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 Myers? Here. Fashion? Here. Uh, Tyler and Traxler are excused this evening. So we do have a quorum. Great. Thank you. All right, uh, I'd like to note that the uh, this is an open meeting and it has po been posted uh, in accordance with all uh, applicable regulations. All right, uh, item number four, uh, we have an agenda for tonight. Sorry, oh, item, item four, we have our agenda for tonight. Um, like to entertain a motion to approve or amend. I move that we approve the agenda. Motive will second. We've got a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed? All right, this is our working agenda. Uh, item five, we have minutes from the December 16th Planning Commission meeting uh, in your packets. Take a moment to review if you haven't already and I'll take or I'll entertain a motion to approve or amend. Modif will make a motion to approve the minutes from the preceding meeting. I'll second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Our minutes are approved. All right, moving on to item number six, uh, citizen comments. Uh, is there anybody in the room that just wait, wishes to make a general comment to Planning Commission? Hey, hey, Ryan's here for the uh, items this evening and I have not received any comments prior to the meeting tonight. All right. Uh, no comments received. Uh, moving on to item seven, unfinished business. None on the agenda. Nope. All right. Item eight, uh, new business. Uh, item A is review and make recommendation to council regarding proposed parking lot resurfacing for the Columbus Country Club. There was a staff report here, Matt, that you want to introduce? Yeah. Um, I'll share the screen just in case. Uh, I don't have it in front of them. So, Essentially, uh, in we've been working with Ryan, who is the president of the country club here for for some time, and they uh, we've kind of gone back and forth, kind of re reviewing some um, preliminary site plans. Ultimately, they hired uh, MSA professionals to I'm sorry, to uh, to uh, draw up a site plan uh, that you see uh, that's in the packet on the last page. Um, essentially what you see here is uh, they'll remove some of the parking that's closest to the uh, creek right now and uh, they're going to eliminate some of the parking that's kind of in the middle down here and then they're going to restripe everything. So uh, MSA went through and uh, uh, basically recalculated everything, making sure all the stall sizes meet code 10 by 19 um, and added, uh, well, and remarked three handicap spots that's re required per ADA. Usually it's about one, it's one per 25 stalls needs to be ADA with the, with the first one being a van accessible spot. Um, so for the terms of their lease, essentially any sort of uh, capital improvement projects um, uh, need to go through the plan commission and then ultimately uh, are approved by the council. As far as the design goes, um, what they have here uh, meets code uh, and uh, based on what they're doing is basically a simple mill and overlay. Uh, I don't see any reason why, uh, in the, you know, and, and I would also argue or note that I think with the ADA improvements, I think with this plan, they'll have a more designated loading zone than they do right now, which is this area in the hatch right here. And they do remove 
move some of the impervious surface down by the creek, which I think is a good thing. So uh, as far as the design goes, I, I, th that's really it in a nutshell. And then we can get in, I, or do you want me to talk about both? Well, we'll get into the other issue when we get under that topic, but we do have the applicant here for any questions and there's any questions for me as well. Ryan, go ahead, introduce yourself if you have anything to add. Put, if you would push the person, and person. it looks like a little, there's three lines in front of it, that'll turn the mic on. There we go. There you go. Yeah, I'm Ryan Duffy. I've, uh, I've served on the board of the uh, Country Club for the last three years, president of the last two. Um, parking lot that we have there currently is, is in dire need of resurfacing. It's uh, it's a trip fall hazard, it's, and it's just gonna keep calling, coming apart. The biggest reason we pulled apart, uh, pulled off that 20 feet or so at the end there is because it's generally underwater for a good portion of the year from the drainage creek there. So it just, it'll deteriorate even if we do uh, replace it. So that's why we cut that off. Um, I think we ended up around 72, 73 stalls, which is the correct number for a golf course. Um, and uh, beyond that, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, just a replacement, uh, a mill and overlay uh, replacement that is sorely needed. Um, so just majorly a safety hit, an issue, so. When was the last time this was done? That's a very good question. Um, I think it's been uh, just kind of overlaid uh, patchwork um, probably at least 20, 30 years ago. Um, yeah, it's just been a patchwork of mishmash over the, over the years. Yeah, just don't want to go back down that same path if Right, yeah, and then, then that's the part next year. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we, we talked about trying to just overlay it and, and, and you know put a bandaid on something, but you know it's 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 clearly time that um, this needs to be done um, one way or another. So, does that overlay? Does that if there's a bad spot where there's nothing to mill? <laughs> Did they fix that again, or did they? I'll let, I guess, <clears throat> Ryan probably knows a little bit more from the quotes, but generally speaking, once that top layer is off, they'll go in and add either aggregate or gravel or whatever to stabilize areas where there would be an issue. Oh. So usually when they're in kind of like, once they peel back that first layer, then they'll go in and make sure that the parking lots, the, use the, the undersurface is, or the under, um, layer, I don't know the quite correct term, I'm not an engineer, but uh, I know they'll go in there and make sure uh, and, and bring in extra gravel or whatnot to make sure that it, it won't um, right. crack it, in a couple of years because there's like a sinkhole underneath it or anything like that. So. Right. It's, it sounds as though that we'll actually have millings left over once they're done um, based on the three companies that we've talked to already. We've, we've had some quotes on this already in different forms and different... Uh, patterns and we're t we had talked about actually adding some parking at one point for possible cross use with city and school district but um, I think in talking to Matt that was maybe not the, just not the right time to do that but um, with the idea that yeah the, the millings will be enough to suitably re you know recompact and then overlay with a fresh um, I don't remember the exact um, depths but I think it's a little bit thicker in, towards the middle we're just gonna get more traffic in like four inches um, especially if where we have delivery trucks coming in um, and making turns and whatnot, and then maybe three inches towards the, the apron of the hole where the parking spots are. So. Nice. Okay, Matt, so just to clarify, this is, we're here under the terms of the lease that the country club has with the, the city, Correct. right? So yeah. is there any... Essentially, is there any city expenditure we need to talk about? This is just no, this a is, check is, on the site plan and... To, to, well, a lot of, well, the expenditure will obviously be more of a council discussion, but as of right now, it's 100% it's, it's funded by the country club. Okay. It's just, for the terms of their lease, they do need approval um, to move forward with this project. So that's why we're starting here um, and then going to Cowan and the council. We are open to funding options. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my, my question is just one more of clarity of sure. what's our business here. So sure. no, it, it's, it's really uh, kind of to approve the project. And, and as I said, this does meet code. With it being just a simple mill and overlay, not a not really a new parking lot, it, it's there's different standards. So the, it, we've talked about this with uh, all city staff, with the uh, city engineer, and uh, we're comfortable this meets code. So. 
I did spend time talking to Jason Letha about this as well. He spent some, you know, gave us the green light on just let's just replace and yeah. not do anything fancy. So. And, and I think Jason also helped them with uh, this, like creating specs for this. So like when they go to bid, although I, I, now that you hired MSA, I'm sure right. MSA will help with it as well because I think when we initially met, they had some bids, but the bids were not really apples to apples. So I just wanted to. Right. Um, I'm assuming. I don't know if that's Mike, but somebody else just joined the room. Possibly, yeah. Um, anyways, any other questions from other commission members? Speak, speak, speaking of that, is there a, a stormwater project that they're trying to fund? Does that go right to the country club? It wouldn't be on the country club property. The the stormwater project that I think has been discussed frequently in this area is to the north to the of north here. Of it. it's, it's, it's really between the football field and the parking lot for the high school. Um, but there isn't a stormwater project. Um, because it goes underground from the football field. Correct. All the way like down you, to, you basically kind of get off the ninth fairway and just to the north of there, there's a culvert, and it goes. Okay. It goes from there, uh, kind of along the between the football field and the parking lot, and kind of comes out, kind of up by the deer pen. Yeah. And then they just opened up the second one from the deer pen probably a year or two ago. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't right underneath the park. No, it's, it's not. No. <laughs> it, and that was one of the things, obviously, when they met with staff. I mean, if there's any sort of sewer, water, utility, like those were the kinds of things that have already been discussed. And I don't recall that being an issue for this project. So. Okay. So it's just approving the project? Correct. The, basically, the design so they can move forward and go to council for their blessing. Any others on the call? All right, I will uh, entertain. Oh. Um, oh, no, I think it's just you're getting static. I from, keep, they keep hearing that. All right, no, it's okay. Uh, I'll entertain a motion uh, to make a recommendation to council. I'll make a motion to approve the project submitted for the parking lot project at the Columbus Country Club. I have a motion. Do I hear a second? More than a second. Okay. And Mike, I'll clarify your motion. We're making a recommendation to council to approve. So. Thank you. There you go. All right. I have a motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Great. Uh, motion passes. Recommend the council to approve. <coughs> so. Okay, it's okay if I just launch into item B. Item B. So basically, we, we've had a few of these at plan commission where uh, under, uh, what was it, 114, uh, 125, 12B, uh, there's a clause in there that grants the Planning Commission the power to grant some of the exceptions to the minimum off-street parking requirements. Um, and when I was reviewing this, and 74 spaces seems like an awful lot, but when I was reviewing our code, um, and believe it or not, you know, we, we do have two golf courses in town, and this is the first time this has really come up where I've actually had to review this section of the code. So uh, it, it came up that they needed to have, provide eight spaces per, st or eight stalls, or eight spaces per hole. So in this case, it's a nine hole course, eight times nine is 72. And then on top of that, they were required to provide uh, one for each employee. And because it's a restaurant slash bar, uh, they would have to meet those parking requirements too. Um, I, I believe it was 112 was the number I, I, I calculated from the data I had. It was kind of an estimate. Um, and to me, the as somebody who golfs, I thought uh, eight per, uh, eight per hole is a little excessive. You know, okay, you have carpooling. Unless you're having a golf outing where they're like they're they're starting you 
two golfers on each hole, two foursomes on each hole, it's very rare that you're going to have that you're going to be that busy. And if they are that busy, I mean, that's going to be really good for the country club, but um, it just seemed excessive um, in just thinking things through. Uh, I did some research looking kind of at other codes and also looking at um, we do have a draft zoning ordinance that will be going to our uh, uh, council's um, subcommittee uh, on ordinances here in the near future, uh, maybe the end of the month, if not the next meeting. Um, and I've been working through that, and so I looked at what was in there, and based off of that, based off of that code, it was 36 per nine holes. So it would basically cut that in half, and then they'd still have to provide spaces for the uh, restaurant bar facility, and then one for each employee. But when you did that analysis, 74 would be more than enough uh, based on those requirements. And uh, based, based on that analysis and based on looking at other codes, I, I, I think uh, recommending a exemption for the stall require or space requirements um, for off street parking spaces uh, for this project, I think uh, is something that staff supports. So uh, if there's any questions on that part of the zoning code or kind of my analysis, I'm happy to answer them. I would add in that, uh, you know, as the country club itself, we uh, rarely fill the parking lot as it is. We're probably around 72, uh, 74 parking spots as, as currently. Uh, we very rarely fill the parking lot just as the country club. The times that we do fill up an overspill is generally that dual use where, um, whether it's the football, high school football games, a lot of things, times it's revolves around high school football or high school tennis, or uh, we do host some um, uh, cross country meets. Um, um, and then, uh, you know, 4th of July events or anything that might, you know, bring a, a crowd to the park. Um, so that is the only time that we probably hit maximum capacity or over is that when we're, our parking lot is being dual used by others outside of the country club there. Uh, I'll give a few quick comments and I'll call on any others. I mean, given the fact that this is an existing facility, uh, given the fact that you're losing what, maybe maybe four stalls to that that end that you're not replacing, and the fact that you're marking them or remarking them, and I think a lot of them are not marked now, Correct. you're going to get a lot more efficiency of space out of it. Right. So given all those things and asking you to you know find a spot to put 40 more spaces seems like a heavy lift i'd be very much in support of this any other comments all right hearing none um I'll entertain a motion to either approve or deny the reduction of required parking per 114-125 parentheses 12 parentheses B. Otis will make a motion to move uh, this forward uh, for a reduction in the parking spots to 74. T technically, uh, just um, actually Planning Commission has the authority to approve this. This doesn't have to go forward to council. So I apologize. No, it's okay. So I need the motion to approve the reduction of parking spots to 74. Okay. Thank you. I'll second that. I got two seconds. I'll give you credit, Mike. Uh, I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all signify favor by aye. 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 Opposed? All right, uh, reduction granted. We've reached the end of our agenda. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Don't tell anybody anything until 10 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> bye. Oh my. Adjourned. Adjourned. I can mute it for him, but.